right? So um, here, all we're doing in this step, as step one, we're just taking our uh, acetic acid, which is 75% of our vinegar, and our calcium carbonate from the eggshells, and mixing it together, you notice that there's no heat on it. Um, basically, we're just stirring it together to try and mix them before we boil it and reduce. Actually, I'm gonna turn on the stir rod here, just to make this go faster. So when they mix, uh, it produces calcium acetate, which is what we want to mix later on, and a byproduct of CO2 gas. And uh, that's what these bubbles are on the top. And uh, we're gonna let it run overnight. Hopefully these foaming will stop and then we can uh, boil it and reduce. Right now, all we're doing is filtering only the aqueous part of this solution out, and then we'll get rid of the remaining eggshell powder, because theoretically, all of the reactions should have occurred by now, and all we have to do now is extract our calcium acetate from it. So now we're filtering the solution through, so letting it trickle down. It should be a clear, off clear color, slightly cloudy. Um, we just want to drain away the impurities in it, at least the large ones. Let me get our stir rod out of this. Right, so all we're doing here is we're boiling the water to reduce it, and that'll help the crystals solidify because an interesting thing about calcium acetate is that its solubility in water actually goes down with heat, unlike most things. So um, as we heat it up, we should see crystals start to form. Right, so as we can see here, it's been about maybe 20 minutes since the last check-in. And the crystals are starting to form in true now. You know, there's much larger. You can see them from up top. We're at 102.3 degrees Celsius now. And then flakes are forming. Right, as you can see here, it's starting to get cloudy. This is like five minutes later. Um, we have to open up the garage because it gives off a very pungent odor. And uh, hopefully more crystals start to form pretty soon. Now we're getting to that point where all the impurities are starting to burn a little bit. So as soon as we see this solidify a little bit more, it's gonna crash out and you have to immediately take it out. So we don't really want our acetate burning. Finally, it's been like two hours of boiling about, and I think we're finally ready to take it off the hot plate. Bottom's a little bit burnt, that's just the impurities though. Um, but as for the calcium acetate itself, we just let it cool now a little bit. Then we put it onto our dish, dry it, and crush it. Right, and with that, taking out the last piece of our acetate and this should only take a couple hours to just dry and then once it's dry I can crush it up and we have our powder. Right so what we have here is the mixture and powder between our diammonium phosphate and our calcium acetate. We have a 1.67 of this to one molar ratio of this and I'm just gonna swirl this around and put it on some paper. And then we're gonna blast this with microwaves for about five minutes at 500 watts, which is what this is on, and try and reduce it to the point where it should have about 97% mass to 98% mass HAP. That said, move this all the way. 